Well, Juliet and I were together so long, it's hard for me to come up with one memorable moment. But let me just say that what I remember is that after it worked only a few weeks, I think, the promo department asked us to do a promo describing the other person in one word or maybe a couple of words. And I remember I described her as a firecracker because that really does describe everything that she approaches life with, which is if we have breaking news, it's like boom, splash. We've got to do this, we got to do this, we got to go do this, we need to do that type of thing. Whether it's in a live appearance that we did, she was all in. By the way, I think she described me as cool as a cucumber. And one time I remember, and this is what I'm getting to, is that I was not cool as a cucumber. And we were asked, or we volunteered, I don't remember, again, she would know, to do the Star Spangled Banner to a Whitecaps game, the national anthem. And I remember as we started to walk out onto the field, I was like, I turned to her, and this is probably not the best thing to admit to someone who you're about to sing the national anthem with. I said, I am so scared. I have never been this scared in my life. And so we continue to walk out, and I go, Juliet, what's the first line? And she goes, oh, say, can you see? I said, oh, okay, can you see, all right. And we keep walking a little more, and I go, What's the second line by the dawn's early light? I'm going, oh my God. And I, and I turned to her and she looked at me and she said, you'll be fine. I'll take care of you. I have your back. And that really describes our relationship on and off the air for a long time, is that we were never really nervous or concerned about the other person when we were in a breaking news situation or on the air or handling live or going to an event, because I think we always had each other's back. And that's a a great thing to have. It's a comforting thing to have. And if I forget everything else, that's the one thing I'll remember is that she was so easy to work with because we had each other's back. Oh, by the way, congratulations on 25 years. Is that really, 25 years is that? That's not very long, is it? I don't know. So my favorite memories of Juliet Dragas. Uh, she gives the best pool parties, absolutely. We used to go to those pool parties. It was the best thing. It was great camaraderie. But of course, that was outside of work. Here at work, um, I consider Juliet to be our national treasure here at WZZM. She works harder than anybody else that I know of, including myself. And uh, she is an asset to WZZM 13. Congratulations on 25 years. You know, I've only known Juliet for two years, but one of my favorite memories uh, of her is Right after I got here, one of the first things I noticed as I was listening through the door of my office uh, out into the activity of the newsroom, uh, hearing her asking questions, hey, do we know this? How do you say this? Is this right? Are we sure? Um, I really appreciate how Juliet takes our journalism very seriously, takes the newscasts very seriously and feels ownership over them and wants to make sure that we're putting on the best product that we can every single day, and I, I love that about Juliet. As you may know, Juliet is vertically challenged, and she'll go to great lengths to make herself appear taller. She'll sit on pillows, phone books, and what I call the box. But the studio crew calls these height adjusters. I remember the day that Juliet Dragas walked into the back door of the newsroom and she was carrying this enormous Louis Vuitton handbag and I thought, oh good Lord, who is this chick? Well, over the years, Juliet has grown into this wonderful community advocate. She has gained the love and respect of her colleagues and this community. And Juliet has taken this platform that we're all so privileged to have and she's used it for good. Whether she's advocating for early detection and breast cancer awareness or cheering on a Special Olympic athlete from the sidelines, Juliet throws her whole heart into everything that she does and she has this very real love for people. I'm super proud to call her a colleague and a friend and thrilled that she's reached this 25 year mark here at WZZM and in this great community. Congratulations, Juliet. Well, congratulations on the 25 years, Juliet. I've been here pretty much the same time, 25 years. So you pretty much feel like family to me. Made my job very easy. Congratulations. <laughs>